Hi and welcome to WWE Girl Talk. I'm Coral. I'm Ashley. And right now these are our predictions for payback, even though we're very behind. <laughs> <laughs> um, our reviews will be coming out soon, uh, just so you know, for the last month. Well, two weeks. Two weeks. Two, two weeks. weeks. We've been very busy with work. And actually, been to New York. I'm I jealous. Have. I'm jealous. I only got back like yesterday. Yeah, and then I've been working non stop. So, because um, I don't get a holiday. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, so they will come out probably all together at once, like when a Netflix releases a series. <laughs> like, you know, like when Orange is a New Black comes out, you get the whole thing. Yeah. You'll get the whole of May. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and payback. Um, so, yeah, sorry we've been so late. Thanks for being patient, and here are our predictions of payback. Bearing in mind, we haven't seen the other, yeah, stuff. the latest stuff. So we could, this could go horribly wrong, people. Yeah, horribly wrong. We're basically just picking names out of hat. Yeah, <laughs> really. Feel like last time. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the, our reviews will be back very soon, and we'll be on top of it very soon. So obviously, for every prediction video, we have a forfeit for the next raw after after the pay per view. Uh, so this um, forfeit is whoever loses has to get their makeup put on by the other person blindfolded, which could go horribly wrong. Mm-hmm. I'll uh, probably be blind afterwards. I promise if you lose, I won't injure you. Yeah. It'll probably be me who loses. I'm I really tend to worried. I tend to... You've been on a losing streak, so it's bound to happen that you I still need to do my other one. Yeah, you do. I will do it. I will do it. You do Should I do it in my pirate costume that I'm getting? You might as well. <laughs> so, yeah, let's do it in... We're doing it, doing it in Wikipedia order. So because that's the most uh, legit order. Yeah. I mean, it's not going to be in this order, but this is Wikipedia order. So. Wikipedia order is legit. <laughs> Believe everything you get off Wikipedia. Yeah, don't believe really WWE.com. No. No, <laughs> <laughs> that's the one that fucked us over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. John Cena vs. Rusev in an I Quit match for the United States Championship. And Lana's at ringside. As always. That's the only reason men like Lana. Uh, Rusev. Rusev. Because Lana's there. So I think John Cena's going to win. And I actually think Rusev's going to win. Funny enough, we haven't actually flipped a coin on any of these. No. We've been very... I think because I'm so unbiased at the moment. Yeah. I was just like, well, I'll go with that one because I feel like it. See, I think John Cena's going to win just because um, I think Lana might end up getting involved somehow, which really ends up injuring Rusev or something that it makes him have to quit. Or I just can't see John Cena going away. Um... And I think they'll make Rusev quit to bring him back in a couple months to someone new or something. Because you can only keep that gimmick up for so long. Yeah. Um, And they they are trying to bring Lana off the diva. Yeah. And plus, uh, I don't know if you've known about this. You probably do. You're more ahead than us. But Elimination Chamber's coming back um, as a pay-per-view at the end of May. And... um, WWE.com announced that John Cena will be defending his title then. So, oh, did I? so I think they've let out. Oh, you didn't tell me that. <laughs> no, I won't get to that. Um, so I think that John Cena might win because <laughs> they've already told us. <laughs> um, no, I like, I was thinking Rusev because obviously that I quit. They don't always quit. Um, so I was thinking because obviously um, John Cena's got that film coming out. I can't remember what it's called. Um, oh, the one. Yeah, the one with that woman. The one where we saw the trailer. Yeah, for. yeah, where he's in a cinema and he's like, I look like Mark Wahlberg, who ate Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> I don't know if that's out yet or not, but it's not out over here. And um, I was just one. I was thinking maybe he'd go off and promo that for a few yeah. weeks and then be like, I'm back, bitches. Yeah. Something like that. So I thought maybe he'd quit for a couple of weeks and then come back a bit like when um, Team Cena all got fired. Yeah, they come back. Yeah. Or the authority got yeah. fired and... They come came back and I think the only person I ever know who's actually quit in an I quit match is Ric Flair. Yeah. And he still turns up. <laughs> yeah, he does. You're right. So, it's Shawn Michaels that don't turn up anyway. He still turns up a bit. Yeah. I don't know. Don't worry, logic. Yeah. Doesn't make sense to the rest of the world. Um, so then it's the uh, Fatal 4 way for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns, Randy Orton and Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose! Coral to Dean Ambrose. <laughs> <laughs> I said I I didn't really know. Like I thought maybe Dean Ambrose seems to be pushing him, but I think it's too early for Seth to lose it. But then WWE tend to do things like this. But I'm gonna stick with Seth. I'm hoping he'll win. Um, and there was a stipulation as well announced on Raw. You won't know about it. No. Nope. Uh, but if Seth actually loses his championship, then Kane won't be director of operations anymore. He'll be fired. Why is that even a fucking stipulation? Triple H made it on Raw. It didn't make sense to me. No. 
So yeah. That don't make sense. But um yeah. I just think Dean's been hinting at it quite a bit and he's the outsider. He tends mm. to always be on top as well. Yeah, the last right. one standing out of the four. Yeah, because I think Dean's so kind of not involved in the whole thing, but involved. Yeah. I feel like he's gonna he's gonna have an advantage. So I feel like hopefully, fingers crossed, Dean wins. He does need a purpose. Yeah, because he doesn't have one. No. So it's quite nice that. There's rumours that Dean's going to turn heel at um, payback. Would he actually be any different heel though? <laughs> He'd be part of the authority. That's the rumour. Oh really? Yeah. I would oh, not enjoy that. No. Unless he goes in to sabotage him. Yeah. But, oh, really? Yeah, I would not enjoy that. The authority needs to go now. They're just... Yeah. No. Come on, they were meant to go to Survivor Series. I mean, Daniel Bryan can't wrestle anymore, so give him something. Give him something to do. Make him GM or something. Yeah. He'll be alright. Um, so the episode's all alright. Hmm? Yeah, Daniel Bryan's uh, episode's alright as GM. Yeah, although he can't say Ryback. <laughs> the Ryback. Is he actually generally can't wrestle anymore? No. He gave, yeah, he gave up his Intercontinental Champ- Champion. <laughs> his Intercontinental title is vacant at the moment. He gave, had to put it down to rest because he's injured. Oh. He might not be able to wrestle anymore. He don't know. Haha. It's really a sensitive. It's so sensitive. So yeah, next match: King Barrett versus Neville. It's a match that seems to have come out of nowhere. Um. I'm just going to say King Barrett because he hasn't actually won against Neville yet and he's King Barrett, so it's a bit shit if he's King Barrett and loses. I just feel like I want to piss, I feel like I want to piss off uh, Barrett even more by letting him lose. <laughs> Neville needs a purpose. Neville's or a good. personality. Yeah, he does need to uh, have a bit of a vocal. It's, yeah, it's not really fair that someone can wrestle that good and not have a purpose. I oh, know! It's a bit like, okay, it's can't so make sad. So yeah, I've gone for Neville. Uh, so then Dolph Ziggler versus Sheamus. Um, I really don't care about this match. No. I really don't. Um, you think we would because we like both of them. Yeah. And Sheamus is a really good heel, but I'm just bored shitless yeah. over this. I am as well. Yeah, I'm bored shitless. It just seems to be Sheamus talking at everyone and Dolph and them having ruckus every now and then. No, but you know he's all like, oh, all you little wrestlers. Sheamus ain't that big. No, Dolph ain't that small. No, exactly. That makes sense I don't me. get it. Like, Seamus isn't, like, Ryback, or the Ryback, <laughs> or Triple H, or... He's just tall. I wouldn't even say he was as big as Edge. Edge ain't that big. See, I... That, this storyline's been done, what, four or five times? Why are we doing it again? Mm. Like, we had that with someone else. Who was it? We had it with Daniel Bryan and Triple H. We had it with someone else just before Seamus come back. My oh, God, who was it? What, can we? And... I don't know. No, it's someone else. I can't remember now, it's going to bug me. Hmm. Was it Rusev or someone? I can't remember though, uh. the storyline literally just finished that was to do with the same thing. It's so irrelevant, I can't even remember it. Yeah, it's so reused. But I said Seamus because Seamus hasn't actually lost against Dolph, um, won against Dolph yet, and I feel like they're going to carry this on and drag it out for another few months. Yeah, I kind of agree with that with my gut saying Dolph, so I went with Dolph. So I see the logic in Ashley's choice <laughs> because I kind of want to go with that. My gut's going dump, dump, dump. So dump, 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 uh, is that EastEnders or Coronation? Yes, it's EastEnders. 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 I don't watch soap, she can tell. No, I don't either. No, I never have. Uh, so, next is New Day versus Tyson and Cesaro in a two out of three falls match for the Intercontinental Not the Intercontinental Championship. Uh, the, the Tag Team, team Championship. Um, I'm glad it's a two out of three falls match, and I'm hoping it's going to be quite a long one. It's going to be a good one. match. I reckon it'll be a good match as well. Um, but it tends to be on paper, yeah? Yeah. I'm going to go for New Day. Because they seem to be pushed and the range just won the titles. I just went for Tyson Kidd and Cesaro because that's what I want. <laughs> yeah, I really want Tyson Kidd and Cesaro to win the back. Yeah. But, um, so I thought I might as well go for what I want on this one. But at the same great. time, they seem to be doing better without the titles. I don't know if you've noticed. Do you think? Yeah, they seem to be much more, much more interesting without them. I don't know why that is. But yeah, I think New Day will win that one. Be interesting, that one. That's the one I don't really know what's going to... I don't really know where half these are going to go, to be fair. Dolphin Seamus. I don't care, don't really well enough. I don't really care about a lot of them, to be quite honest. I mean, maybe the championship ones, but... I feel like everybody's had no direction, though. Yeah, just kind of chuck some 
people to go up. But ever since Zane left, they um, have no direction. Zane? Oh, <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> uh, right back first, Bray. I'm down with the kids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right back first, Bray Wyatt. Now, to be honest, this feud makes no sense to me. I'm not interested whatsoever. It's the same thing where Bray Wyatt attacks people for no reason. Has anyone noticed that every feud that Bray's been in lately has started exactly the same? They've reused the fucking VTs and then they've gone after a random wrestler. Yeah. It's I, I want to see Bray in the ring. I want to see Bray doing talking stuff. in the ring. I want to see him, yeah, doing stuff. He's a wrestler. Let him wrestle. Yeah, he, can't, he turns up on pay-per-views. He's not that... Like established, yeah. yeah. It's just no. It's a bit strange. Um, yeah. but I said Bray Wyatt because they're gonna drag us out and not gonna make Ryback lose just yet. No, win just yet even. I just said Ryback because one to be different and two <laughs> <laughs> Ryback wins too often. I don't like it. He, he's been on a losing streak lately. Like, did he lose against the Carpa or something? Maybe I'm going crazy. I don't, I can't I don't know. Um, and the last but not least. Naomi and Tamina against the Bella Twins. Um, so I said the Bella Twins are going to win because they've lost recently against them and I feel like they love the Bella Twins a lot. They like a John Cena, so they're going to let the Bella Twins win this one. I said Naomi and Tamina uh, because... I don't like saying Tamina. <laughs> um, because um, it's, it's not a championship match and they've purposely not had championship matches. They've purposely had like tag teams so they can't actually change hands. And I feel like it, they like Naomi's gonna win because it's her moment to go. Well, I just beat you. Why can't I have a championship match? And I think that's gonna carry on to thing. I mean, Naomi's playing such a great heel at the moment. Like, I want to see more of her. So it's, I'm kind of glad it isn't a thing, but I want to see her wrestle other people. I'm quite disappointed they brought Tamina into this whole thing, though. I quite like yeah, Naomi just doing yeah. her thing. I feel like they've brought her in so this match can happen, though. Yeah. Which is a bit weird. But it would have just better to bring Natalia in or something. <laughs> yeah. But I, I mean, to me, it's a good wrestler, like what I've seen. It makes sense. I mean, it's Jimmy Uso's has cousin, so it does yeah. make sense. Uh, I give it to them. But it's just like families versus families now, really, isn't it? Yeah, it's can't the same take old the purpose shit. away. <laughs> but I feel, I feel like that just half the Uso's family is half a WWE. <laughs> yeah, the Bone Reigns is part of the Uso family. <laughs> <laughs> Why couldn't he get their talents? That's what they took out into the only room. <laughs> He's so talented. He's so talented. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's our payback, payback predictions. I have no expectations for this pay per view. I feel like it's no. going to be terrible. Yeah, I, I feel like last few pay per views have had no purpose whatsoever. They're all too close together and there's no lead up. Yeah. Um, like if you look at Bray, like Bray and Ryback, there's been nothing. There's been a couple of fucking VD, VTs, and that's it. And what? It's not they've lost the effort yeah. and the will to actually will do to something. live. Yeah. But it's it's not like the lead up to even Survivor Series have more lead up. As boring as it was, <laughs> yeah. it had more lead up. That's true. WrestleMania had a lead up. Nothing. Everything since WrestleMania has been a bit bland. Yeah. Needs a bit of salt. Yeah. Okay. Or a bit of madras. Madras. Spice things up. Yeah. Spice up your life, little boy. Yeah. So that was our predictions. I promise our reviews will be up as soon as. Uh, we've got a little bit of catch up today. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> um, but they will be up as soon as pos, and I promise you will like them. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, thanks guys. Thanks for being patient. Uh, like, share, subscribe, retweet, retumble. Follow us. Yeah, follow us, talk to us. Like us on Facebook. Yeah, and subscribe and share and. Tell us what you think. Yeah. Predictions. And tell us what your you, predictions. Yeah, tell us yours. Because we like to know these things. Ow, did you hear my show? Yeah. Then that really hurt. <laughs> um, see you later. Bye.